How good is your digestion? Are you like so many other people today, suffering from one or more of the following digestive symptoms? Sitting down and eating a meal is just not as pleasurable as it's supposed to be. Do you find that you get a burning sensation in your stomach or regularly using digestion tablets? Are you feeling worse or excessively sleepy after a meal? Do you often get diarrhea or have an uncomfortable feeling of fullness in your stomach? Do you often suffer from constipation? Or do you suffer from mu excessive mucus, a stuffy nose or sinus problems? Are you often nauseous? Belching or passing wind? Bloating? Suffering from ba bad breath? These are all symptoms that have an underlying cause and it could really be as simple as you're not chewing your food properly. It could be that you are lacking in stomach acid or in digestive enzymes. As we get older, particularly over the age of 50, more and more people get less and less stomach acid. They have less digestive enzymes. It could be something a little bit more serious. It could be a food intolerance. It could be that you have an overgrowth of bacteria either in your small intestine or in your large intestine causing all of these symptoms. It could be that you have candida. But whatever the underlying cause, you need to find a health practitioner or a nutritional therapist who can help you get to the root cause of all these symptoms so that you can go back to enjoying food just the way you're supposed to. Remember, before you go and see a health practitioner, try something simple. Chew your food properly. Make sure that you're not stressed and you're not eating your food on the go. Be mindful of whether or not something you are eating is causing you to have one or more of these symptoms. If it's a food intolerance, Simply eliminate that food yourself and see, are you feeling better? Remember, the most common foods that cause these kind of symptoms are gluten and wheat, dairy, eggs, yeast. Try eliminate one or more of these foods if you're suffering from any of these symptoms and see if you feel better. Otherwise, go and find someone who can help you. There is no need to be struggling with these symptoms.